Hey there, I'm Mealtime Mentor Casey, and today I'm really excited to be here with Nick Calloway, who is the owner and head brewer of Anape Brewing in Algoma, Wisconsin. This video is part of our Sips and Snacks series, where we pair delicious foods with tasty drinks. So today, Nick is gonna walk us through a craft beer pairing for our chicken poblano tortilla soup. So Nick, you were talking about the three C's of pairing beers with foods. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so there's cut, complement and contrast when we're talking about beer um, and carbonation is another one but uh, mainly we're looking to either cut through some rich uh, richness in food okay. or complement other things mm -hmm. and then there's the contrast which ends up being uh, something a little bit more difficult to get if you had a bunch of beers out there and you had a lot of food you'd be able to find a really interesting pairing. So. Sure. Awesome. Well like I said so today we have our chicken poblano tortilla soup so this soup is, um, it's a soup, so it's a little bit lighter than maybe some other foods, um, but it's got lots of veggies. We have some carrots, tomatoes, onions in here, but then it also has a nice topping of avocado. Oh, I love me some avocado. Yes, so what do you have to pair with this today? So golden ales in general will go really well with this. Uh, the lightness of the uh, soup and the lightness of the beer really will uh, not fight each other, Mm. So the beer won't be overtaken and the food won't be ta overtaken at the same time. Sure. Um, we have Tropics, which is a golden ale, mm -hmm. um, but it has tropical fruit in it. We have pineapple, okay. passion fruit, and mango. When I'm pairing beer and food, yeah. um, uh, the beer is really important to me. So I want the beer to be elevated. So sure. uh, first smell it, mm -hmm. maybe give it a little swirl. Mm. And of course taste it. Yeah. To get that nice, light uh, mm -hmm. tropical fruit. It's not overly sweet, a little bit of acidity, yeah. and just a nice body to it. Yeah. Uh, which I think is going to go like great one. with this. Mm -hmm. um, the freshness of the, the veggies that are in here, and then you have the avocado like you were talking about. Right. Mm -hmm. That's just going to uh, have the acidity to cut through that avocado. And then the freshness of the veggies really go well with the freshness of the tropical fruit. Yes, so. I agree. <laughs> it's a very good pairing. Yeah. So when you were saying, as a kind of a beer expert, you generally, like you're doing, you taste the beer first, and mm -hmm. then you ha you try the food. Whereas right. I just went right in for the food, of course. But mm -hmm. um, and then you go back to the beer you were saying. So that call kind of, of course, I ask the questions when nope. people have food in their mouth. <laughs> but that's kind of your process because you're more focused on what would pair with the beer versus what would pair with the food. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So when uh, I'll take the uh, the sip of the beer, get educated on what the beer is tasting like and then taste the food, get educated on the food. And about when I have like a third left of the food left in my mouth, I'll take a little sip of the, the beer. Okay. And uh, kind of semi-mingle them together. Sure. And at that point, I'm looking for that balance. So did the, did the food overtake the beer or did the beer overtake the food? Mm -hmm. And how did those flavors go together? Okay, okay, that's really interesting. But yeah, like you said, the beer goes really well the like lighter fruit flavors kind of pairs really well with the light soup but it still cuts through like that avocado like you mentioned too it does and the carbonation what's great about beer and not that wine pairing isn't, isn't anything that's good wine pairing is good as well <laughs> but uh the great thing about beer it has carbonation so it r really refreshes your tongue mm -hmm. it literally scrubs off the flavors so when you go back for the next bite it's just really refreshing and you're you're trying the food again with kind of a fresh tongue so. sure Awesome. Well, thanks so much for being here with us today, Nick. You're welcome. Thank you. Of course. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos on our YouTube channel. And for more recipes, visit fastfoods.com slash meals.